In this quick video, we'll go through building a four-page website using the BizBiz Facebook application. It's really easy to do. We're going to add three additional pages to our homepage, and let's put an image on this homepage. You notice on the right, you've only got a wrench and a screwdriver. This is manage your page, and then here we can edit this existing page that we're on. We can also click on this bar to edit that as well. You'll notice that you're in normal site view mode, so viewers don't see these, these two additional horizontal uh, blue bars here. So let's click here to edit this page. We'll edit our homepage real quick. We come in here, we need to edit the media box on the page. Click edit. Our text editor will open up and we need to go to, we're going to add an image. So we'll come up here to the image box and we need to upload it to the server. In that instance, we'll click upload and we'll browse for the image. We know the image we already want to use here, so we'll use this one. We need to send it to the server, so we'll hit send to server. And it's going to give us a preview of what the image looks like and here we'll hit OK. And that's going to place the image on our page. And over here on the top right, we'll just come hit save. And now we'll get a preview of what we got. We go back and view the page. We now got our image there nice and neat on the home page. And so now let's go add some additional pages to our top navigation. Here's how easy it is to do using BizBiz. So let's go click on manage your page here. There's the wrench and the screwdriver here. And we'll come over to tabs and layout. And we're going to add a new page. And we'll call this the contact us page and here's where we can organize the tab location we can create a top page a tab after home we could put under home to create a drop down menu but in this instance we'll just go after home and we'll hit save and it'll build a new page for us we've got a media box on it so we'll hit uh, let's go hit save layout and then let's add another page and we'll just say this is about us page and again we'll leave that after home that'll work it'll go between home and contact us we'll hit save here now we have no <clears throat> no uh, media box we need to drag a media box in there hit let that snap into the canvas and hit save layout so now we have three pages and let's go ahead and go back and view our page and you'll notice that we've got a blank about us palette here and then the contact us Page as well has a blank uh, media box as well so we need to edit those so we can access these pages in the back end uh, in the admin area we were just in but for simplicity's sake let's go click on the about us page and we'll just edit it from right here so click click here to edit this page we'll make sure that our tab is highlighted so we know that we're on the about us page we'll go click click the edit button we've got some text here we'll put in on the page and we've got some bogus text and then we actually have an image that we also want to put on the page so We'll go add that image in there as well. We'll put our cursor up here in the top left corner and we'll go click the image box there. We need to upload it again and add it to the server. We're going to click browse. We're going to grab the image, hit open, click send it to the server. It's going to upload it to the server and give us a preview. And then we want to align this image to the right and we want to give it an H space of 10 and a V space of 10. That means horizontal space and a vertical space so it creates a little border around the image. So your text wraps nicely around the image and doesn't bump into it. Hit OK. And we'll go up again to the top right and hit Save. And there we've got a nice image placement on the page. Go back to uh, View Page. And we can preview all this live. As, as we're creating the pages, it's creating the page live on the web. It's saving it, so to speak. So there's our About Us page. Now let's go to our Contact Us page. And let's go add some code in here. We'll go click here to edit this page. We will click to edit the settings. We've got our text box. We're going to go into the source mode. We're going to click so source up here on the top left. We happen to have our embed code here on uh, in, out of Wufu, from wufu.com for form. So anytime you're embedding any sort of embed code, object code, video stuff, you need to go into source mode and then just paste your iframe code right in there. We don't need to adjust the height. Uh, the width will be at 100% as you see here and we're going to go to the top right and hit save and it'll give us a, a the form there that we want this is actually the order form from the bizbiz.net website so you can see a complete uh, e-commerce enabled form from uh, Wufu will render so when we go back to the view the page and we go to contact us you're able to see the form as it's going to render on your page. Now we're live basically. So pretty straightforward, easy to add uh, content to your site. And that's how simple it is to use BizBiz. Hope that was helpful.